The Alban Strike Structure Deck is the top of the town. But if a Luba now over $100 a copy, budget players are again left with the short end of the stick. So in this video, I will provide you guys with an in-depth budget, 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 I tell you, Alba's Despier Deck Profile. The Alba's deck is a fusion-based deck built around Fallen of Alba's fusion summoning effect that lets him absorb the opponent's monster to transform into powerful fusion monsters. In this profile, we are gonna run three copies of Fallen of Alba's. This card is a walking super poly. When summon, fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck using monster from either player's field as fusion materials, including this card, but you cannot use other monsters you control as fusion materials. Yeah, that, that sucks. What's scary about this is the in hatch type fusion monsters are hella powerful. A quick example would be Mirjed the Ice Blade Dragon. Upon summoning Fallen Albas, you can absorb a fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link monster your opponent controls to bring out this bad boy. But more on these fusion monsters a little later. I play three copies of Spriggan Kit, a poor man's Aluba literally. Upon summoning, you can add one of your branded spells or trap that is banished or in your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then place one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. The bonus of returning a branded spell or trap card from the graveyard or banish zone to your hand is incredible. Up next is one copy of Tri Brigade Mercuria. I'm not playing this card for the obvious hand trap effect. I'm purely playing Mercuria as a searcher and deck fiender. When we get to the spell cards, I will provide some more context. On to the Despia package. I play three copies of Despian Tragedy. If this card is sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, you can add one Despia monster from your deck to your hand, except Despia Tragedy. It's true that we don't play a Luba, but the other search options bring a lot of value to the table. Tragedy's second effect is what makes it scary in this deck. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one branded spell or trap in your graveyard and set it to the field. I run one copy of Dramaturia and, and one copy of Adlington of Despair. These two extenders contribute to OTKs and board control. Drama, if used as a fusion material from the field or hand and sent to the graveyard or is banished, it special summons itself to the field. It also has this cool on-field monster effect negation if an extra deck monster is summoned to the field. Of the two, Adlib is my favorite. It special summons a fusion monster from the grave or bunny zone when used as a fusion material from your hand or field. But a little more on Adlib a little later. To finish up the monsters, I'm running three copies of Egypt Chain, Mr. Two Chain himself, Two Chain, three effect villas, and one copy of Goddess with the third eye. Yeah, that's a, a, a budget version of um, the uh, hex card. <laughs> the next card is possibly the best card in the deck, and that would be three copies of Branded Fusion, the most talked about Yu-Gi-Oh card at the moment. Is this card as busted as they say? Nah. Branded Fusion allows you to fusion summon the Alba's fusion monsters using materials from your hand, deck, or field. Now this is pretty crazy, but unfortunately it locks you into fusion monsters. I then play two copies of a card that gets no love, and that would be Branded in High Spirit. This card really increases the consistency of the deck. High Spirit allows you to send a level 8 fusion monster to the graveyard to add a follow of Alba's or related monster to your hand. If Albion, Glory Dragon, Ash Dragon, or Iron Dash Dragon are sent to the graveyard with this effect, you are awarded the graveyard effect in the end phase. But wait, did I mention during the end phase if this card is in the graveyard and a fusion card was sent to the graveyard, you can return this card to your hand? Yeah, that's the thing. Branded in High Spirit is the reason I'm playing Tri Brigade Mercuria. True that High Spirit searches out Mercuria, but that wasn't what I meant earlier when I said Mercuria is played for deck thinning. The next card on the list is what brings out the most value out of Mercuria. Let me show you guys. A Law of Darkness is a given in an all dark deck, especially when you gain additional effects from the Banished Monster. Now this is the reason why I'm rocking my Mercuria. Like the fact that you can search it with Branded in Red. Branded Red, it does allow you to search your kit, but once you have a Law of Darkness in hand, you are not gonna search kit, you're just gonna search for your Mercuro because now you'll be able to activate your Law of Darkness which will allow you to draw two cards which will be flexing and you will begin a search from your Mercuro. This is the reason why. Yeah, the hand trap effect is nice. Yeah, but this, this is nice. 
I play one copy of Branded in Red, a quick play fusion spell that allows you to add a follow of Albaz or Despier monster from the graveyard to your hand, followed up with a fusion summon of a level 8 or higher fusion monster. The restriction can be a pain sometimes, but most times than not, it works out great. I will show a basic combo with this card later. I play two copies of Fusion Deployment. This card allows you to summon Fallen of Albaz directly from the deck on hand. And we all know what Fallen of Albaz does when he summoned. We continue the this deck profile with two copies of Polarization and Patchwork. If the effect of Fallen of Albaz doesn't make it obvious, then the cards provided in the structure deck sure does. This is a blank second deck, and I'm not talking bird box blank. I'm talking two Dark Ruler No More, two Forbidden Chalice, two Super Poly Blank. The extra deck is where things get interesting. The Albaz fusion monsters are great. With the use of Fallen of Albaz or Branded Fusion, you can easily summon cards like Mirajid the Iceblade Dragon, a 3k beetle with a non-targeting banish effect, and a monster field nook if removed off the field. Albion the Branded Dragon fusion summons a monster upon being summoned by banishing fusion materials from the hand, field, or grave. Albion has a big bonus effect if it's in the graveyard during the end phase, which you can easily accomplish with Mirajid or Branded in High Spirit effects. Lubelion the Sane Dragon fusion summons a fusion monster by shuffling fusion materials from the field, grave, or banished zone. Lube is perfect for the grind game. Yeah, that, that, that sounds X-rated. Glory Dragon cannot be destroyed by battle and prevents your opponent from targeting other monsters you control with monsters effect. If it's in the grave, during the end phase, it allows you to search or special summon a tri brigade monster or Fallen of Albaz. Iron Dash Dragon is a chess master. It can move to different columns and destroy all other face-up cards in that column. It also has the grave effect during the end phase where you can search or special summon a Spriggan monster or Fallen of Albaz. Now to keep the bill as cheap as possible, I'm only playing two Despia fusion monsters. Despian Proskenion, a monster reborn of your opponent's extra deck monsters, Hello DPE and Despion Query Sticks, which zeroes non-level 8 or higher monsters stack. Its destruction effect is also great. If removed off the field by an opponent card's effect, you can search or special summon a Despion monster or follow of Albaz from your deck. Super poly targets are this spreader plant big guy, Borlord Furious Dragon, Starving Venom, and Mud Dragon. Most are also here because of branded in red combos, which I will showcase shortly. The two last extra deck monsters are a bit of a shocker, Shadow Winder and Construct. I will explain more when I showcase the basic combos. So far, if you are enjoying this video, receive any value, drop that like button and give the video a share. Be mindful, this video is sponsored by My Empty Wallet. So if you're making any online purchases, please feel free to use my link in the description. Now it's time for the basic combos. This one is super basic. All you need is kit and any random two card, right? You're gonna summon your kit. Kit is gonna allow you to search your branded fusion. Add branded fusion to your hand. You're gonna return a card to the bottom of your deck, one of your random cards. You're gonna activate your branded infusion, <laughs> branded, <laughs> branded fusion to special summon your lube. Lube is gonna come to the field. What are you gonna send? You're gonna send your follow al al albaz, which is necessary, and you're gonna send a copy of tragedy, right? So what you're gonna do, you chain link one, you're gonna activate your tragedy. Reason why chances are if your opponent had something to negate, you probably would have negated the kit. Um, so you're just gonna chain block for any any ghost ogre or skull meister. Chain link two, now you're gonna activate your lube's effect, discard your card, so now you can Fusion summon using your lube and your albas to do marriage. Now, what you're gonna get, you're gonna get to your hand, you're gonna add to your hand your ad lib, and from here, you are going to activate your mirage effect. Unfortunately, we, we have to banish your kit. You, you did a good job, man. You did a good job. We're gonna banish your kit and then we're gonna end our fees here. So, from here, mirage, sorry, um, alibian is in the graveyard, it's gonna allow us to set a branded in red on the field and then during our opponent's turn guys we are gonna reactivate our major because we're gonna activate the effect right so what we're gonna do now we will be able to activate our branded in red we're gonna return our tragedy to our hand and now fusion summon a level eight or higher fusion monster what we're gonna bring to the field you have two options you can either go for the despian monster or you can go for the predator plant which is a form of the gate uh 
this option depends on on what's going on the field and ad libs effect is going to allow us now to special summon our mirror which now is a fresh monster and it does have it effect so we have two interruptions easy on the field very basic combo now let's see a little more advanced version of this combo now a little more advanced we are gonna add to our on our edge imp and keep and any random card because we need the card to return back to the deck um so we are gonna search for our brand and again return this card to our deck then we're gonna activate our branded fusion which is gonna allow us to go into our loop again uh we are gonna banish same as the last time and just we're gonna take a look detour <laughs> we're gonna take a little detour this time all right activate in the graveyard then loop effect which allows us to discard a card and we all know when two chain goes to the graveyard what happened you know two chain doesn't like being sent to the graveyard yeah, it gives us an effect right which is all good so we're gonna add our ad lib to our hand then two chain effect is gonna activate gonna allow us to add to our hand our bad boy patchwork now from here what we're gonna do we're gonna activate our patchwork Activate patchwork. Anyway, we're gonna activate the effect soon, guys. Polarization and another two chain. We're gonna activate our ad lib. Our sorry, um, mirror jade effect. Uh, send our beyond again. Unfortunately, kid, you, you gotta get a boot. Then we're gonna activate our polarization. Polarization, which will allow us to go into our predator plan, big guy fella. Activate some attacks so with one form of interruption. Then our mirror jade effect is gonna activate and allow us to special summon. Sorry, our ad lib effect is gonna activate. Allow us to special summon our mirror jade. Boom! And during our end phase, guys, which is like the last, last, last combo, but this time we have more forms of interaction. Mary jade is gonna do. Sorry, um, Alibian is gonna do what he's gonna do. Gonna allow us to set our branded in red, and then. During our opponent turn, we are going to interrupt twice. Then you can activate your branded in red and just do everything all over again. So depending on what monster you use, if I use you use your marriage effect, what you just you're just gonna just use the marriage, right? To do your fusion summon because you're gonna get a new marriage. And what's great about it, it's gonna get its effect all over again, right? It's gonna have a brand new effect. So this pretty much allows you to have three forms of interruption during your opponent's turn. Right? All on a budget, guys. We ain't breaking the back. We are still doing good. Let's check out another combo. All right, let's check out the Shadow combo. Because you guys may be wondering, why is this guy running Shadows in the extra deck and there's no Shadows in the main deck? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> All right, so with this combo, guys, we are going to start it with a Branded Fusion, our High Guy, High Spirit, and a copy of Imp. Two chain, two chain, guys, two chain. <laughs> so we're gonna go into our loop. We are gonna send our treasures to the graveyard and a copy of Fallen Our Last Bad, which is mandatory. Then we're gonna chain link one in the grave. So we're gonna get a nice search. Chain link two is going to be our loop. We are gonna discard our two chain. Um, from here, we are gonna do go to the effect. We are sorry, we are gonna fusion summon our, our Albion. Then we are going to search to our hand. Uh, it actually doesn't really matter which of the DSPs we add to our hand. Now, chain link one, going to activate in the graveyard. Chain link two will be our Albion. And guys, what we're going to do, we're going to quick chain link three here. Activate it because it's a, it's a quick play, guys. It's a quick play. We're going to activate our high spirits to activate to send our Shadol construct to the graveyard. Right? This is here. <laughs> This is how it happens, yeah. Because there are sometimes you are going to open some of your despair cards, which are fairy types, with your high spirits, and it's gonna activate be dead. So you want to make sure this card or is always active, and this is my way of having this card always active. And it just brought up the idea of popping wind during your opponent's turn, which is super spicy. So yes, we're gonna activate. Yes, now guys, here, here is another spicy play instead of searching your Spriggan kit or your Fallen Albaz, which is actually what we want in our hand for this combo, we are going to go for our Mukur. <laughs> right? Like I told you guys earlier, it's a deck fiender, right? It has its place. Now, we have two options. Here. One, we can just straight up go into our Winder, which is going to give us a board with Winder and our Mukur in our hand protecting us against monster effects simple not simple but you want to make it a little more complicated what you're gonna do we are gonna activate our effect to special summon 
our Despia Fusion Monster, but we're gonna banish our Mercurial and we are gonna banish one of our Despia cats. Now, the play here, one of the reasons why I search the Mercurial is not only for flexing, but you would either have to banish these two Despia cards in your hand to go into this fusion play. And you kind of don't want to banish your tragedy because it's actually going to give you so many plays during your turn to set some of your, your branded cards. So we're just going to go with our tribrigate card and this guy to give us our fusion monster. And now we are going to get our last effect, which is two chains effect. Now, since our Mercuria was banished, Mercuria <laughs> was banished, uh, it's going to allow us to either search for a kit or our fallen of albias which is what we want in our hand now right so we're all good guys now we're gonna activate our effect of our patchwork gonna allow us to search for two chain and a polymerization and from here we're gonna activate polymerization so we can go into our b rigid our bad boy using our albion and our follow of albas now you know what this means during our end phase Albion is in the graveyard. Albion, boom, is gonna allow us to get a nice search. Uh, well, actually, a search. We're gonna set our branded in red on the field. And one time, guys, during our opponent's turn, this is where we're gonna flex. You know, we can activate our effects. Then we can just lock them down here, guys. We are gonna lock down our opponent. Return our follow of Albas to our hand. Then we are going to go into a second Albion. Well, it's not a second Albion, it's a new Albion, actually. Um, using our fusion monster, our fallen of Albas. Boom! Albion is on the field. Albion effect now is gonna have an effect. Shuffling the fusion materials, which would be for window, so you can special some window. What we're gonna do, we're gonna banish our construct and any dark monster is gonna go for dark monsters in our graveyard. We're gonna leave our tragedy. We're gonna banish the two chains. So one time we have one form of interruption, it's a banish, and we are locking the opponent down from the extract. Now, in the event, if we happen to activate our mirrored effect during our end phase, we are looking so good. We, based on what we send to the graveyard, we're gonna get a nice other effect because, you know, the other guys are so good. And also during, because of uh, fusion monster being sent to the graveyard, we can add our high spirit back to our hand. And during our turn, we have the tragedy to set one of these bad boys, guys. Budget. He ain't breaking the bank, guys. He ain't breaking the bank. If you guys love this form of deck profiling, let me know in the comment section below. Full deck profile can be found in the link in the description below. Take care, guys. Stay